Yeah, I mean, obviously, uh, lead double. We like our odds. Um, you know, the punch out after that obviously puts you in a different spot. Um, and, uh, you know, then we got down to where we need a big hit. And, um, you know, those are hard to come by in this game. But uh, hits in general are hard for us to come by. I think we had about 14 or so in a row that we were tired and uh, just couldn't put much together offensively. And, um, you know, it's just uh, you know, just one of those games where we couldn't get much going. And uh, it was unfortunate. Felt pretty through pretty good, pitched himself out of trouble, got himself out of, out of jams, and um, the bullpen did a nice job behind him. Len? Yeah, Mike, uh, you mentioned the, the big hit being hard to come by. I mean, on a night like this or a day like this, does the, the triple play in hindsight loom really large just because of the outcome? Yeah, no, triple plays normally don't. Uh, don't uh, fare too well, especially in close games. And um, no right idea. It's, un it's unfortunate we just didn't have the right execution. Alec? Yeah, Mike, you mentioned the bullpen. Um, just how nice was it to see Josh back out there? Yeah, good to have him back. Stuff looked good. He was sharp. I gave up the one hit, but besides that, I thought the breaking ball looked good. Fastball was coming out of his hand really well. Um, just looked healthy, and that's what we were hoping for more than anything else. Bye. Hey, Mike, I wonder if you could just elaborate a little bit on what you saw out of Brady today and, and, and just in a general, more general sense, what you, how you think he's trending, how he's, how he's doing out there. Yeah, I mean, you're talking about a young pitcher, uh, seen these guys before, and they've seen him, and he's still, you know, we're talking two runs there and almost through six um, on a day where he's getting accustomed to sweating again. And I know that sounds weird, but it's a, it's a different um, approach, um, how to keep your hand dry and uh, keep the ball from slipping because he was sweating from, from the first pitch. You could see he was, his body temperature was up. They got to get used to this again. Uh, but he did a nice job. And you know, like I said, we got into some trouble. He gave up a few free bases. Obviously, the, the hit batsman, I mean, he almost pitched himself out of that. He got a bases loaded, nobody out situation while he's already high and deep into his pitch count. And I thought he made some of his best pitches of the night. And then, uh, you know, the, the slider breaking down and in uh, with the hit batsman was really the only glitch he had once he, he, he got his back against the wall. Um, and then uh, it's unfortunate that uh, that was a, a deciding run. Vern? Mike, I know you need all 26 in order to win a big league ball game, but a day like this, how much uh, Dozier and, and Solaire, how much do you need to get those bats going? Yeah, I'd like to have them in there. There's no question. But uh, we do have faith in the other guys that we've been putting in. I've been um, really impressed with some of the at-bats we're, we're watching uh, from good years, and you know, we've seen some great things from Olivares as well. So um, we're just going to try and, and get guys going, see who's going that can help us each particular night. But uh, there's no question uh, with the history of what we've had with Solaire and, and uh, what we know, you know we're going to continue to get from he and from Dozier. Uh, but there's going to be other guys that step in and help us get it done on the days they're not in there. Len, why don't you wrap up the questions on this? Yeah, Mike, to, uh, to have the, the tying run on base in scoring position for the last two games, is there something you can take encouraging from that, or does it just make it maybe sting a little bit more? No, I mean, we know we're going to be in tight games. I mean, they're not not surprised. Um, you know, and we've been able to come through in those situations as much as anybody in the game. And, uh, you know, just a, a fluke yesterday, it's a very low percentage of uh, line drives in those situations, but that one hurt. Um, today it was, you know, we had the right part of the order up. We wanted to see that part of the order be able to get an opportunity to, to make a difference in that game. And that's worked out well for us in the past. It's just that, you know, they've got their best out there and it's head to head seat who comes up on top and we just fell a little short. Um, but the fact that our, our guys are continuing to figure out ways to stay in games no matter um, you know what kind of offense production we're getting uh, you know that's always going to be impressive but bottom line is we just lost two games that were really right there really close to us taking uh, everybody Mike's got a quick announcement to make too so yeah tomorrow's starter will be uh, Jackson Coar and in order to make room for Jackson we'll be sending out uh, Jacob Junis to to make room so Jake can uh, go to AAA and get uh, built back up 